for success. Well, TGIF East Texas outside, lots of clouds building in and even a few drops of rain uh, coming up right now on our camera lens there, indication that some moisture beginning to move in. 66 degrees in downtown, dew points creeping back up into the 50s. Check out the breeze out of the southeast at 17. Yeah, it's a little breezy as you step out the door. Lots of clouds. Notice the raindrops that are beginning to move into the western and southwestern specifically areas. Now, and this will continue to stream off towards the north and east. Temperatures are in the 60s right now, area-wide. A look at Storm Tracker Live Doppler Radar. Just a quick note to let you know we've got flash flood watches in effect for our far south counties here. That would include folks in Tyler, Newton, and also Jasper counties, as well as Polk, Trinity, and Houston County here. As some heavier rain begins to make its way in, Let's track it for you here. You can see some moderate to heavy rain now making its way into portions of Cherokee County back down towards the west in Anderson, Houston, Trinity, and Polk counties. Moderate to heavy widespread rain making its way now in from Palestine over towards Jacksonville, Alto. The commute along 69 from, let's say, Jacksonville up to Tyler is going to be a very wet one. You will need the windshield wipers there. And some lighter rains falling now from Sulphur Springs back towards Wills Point. Heading over to Mineola, starting to see that rain make its way into your area. Brownsboro getting some light to moderate rain and notice here in Smith County here it comes the rain making its way into downtown Tyler in the middle of Smith County as we speak. Now, we've been talking about some severe weather to our south. That is still going on. We've got tornado watches down towards the south from San Antonio up to Bryan. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings. We also have some flash flood warnings here. Lots of lightning and some intense severe weather down towards the south. That will stay there, I think, for today. Not worried about severe weather as we go throughout the afternoon hours here in East Texas. But overnight tonight, heading into your uh, Saturday morning, that's when we're going to have to keep a close eye on the potential of some severe weather. Here's why. The big storm system is still rotating back here towards the west, just now moving into Texas, bringing a big dip in the jet stream, lots of rain, and as this gets closer, we're going to see a break, and that's going to allow for some instability, and that's where some storms could begin to develop. So that would be late tonight into early Saturday morning. There is a threat, a low threat for severe weather, but there is a slight tornado threat and also the big threat for damaging winds and potential of some flash flooding. So stay with us. Of course, we'll keep you updated as we go throughout the evening hours. Let's time this all out for you on Precision Cast here. Clouds in place now. Here comes the rain. We'll see scattered showers through the afternoon, but not looking for a lot of heavy, intense action, at least in the form of storms. And again, we'll see those scattered showers continuing through the evening hours as a warm front lifts to the north. Now, that warm front behind it, puts us in what we call the warm sector, and that gets us very unstable. And as that next wave of energy moves in, that's where we could see potential of strong to severe thunderstorms moving in, and that would be during the early morning hours on Saturday. So it could be a rough wake-up call, but the good news, the rain ends, looks like, just in time for trick-or-treating, minus a wraparound shower. Heading to the football games, rain chances picking up, scattered showers, but again, no big storms expected. Temperatures falling from the 70s down into the 60s, and for that trick-or-treat forecast tomorrow evening, I think most of the the rainfall is out of here, mainly just some clouds. It'll be breezy with temperatures falling from the 70s down into the 60s. How much rainfall? Oh man, looks like a widespread one to three inches of rainfall likely across the area. Hey, don't forget, we fall back one hour early Sunday morning, so set those uh, clocks back at 2 a.m. and also check the smoke alarm batteries as well. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. Again, wet weather tonight through early Saturday. I think it clears out of here though in time for the trick or treating forecast and looks pretty good for the middle of next week with the next rain chance. All right, thanks so much, Cedric.